we are given the equation of the line 4x plus 7y plus 13 is equal to 0 which serves as a mirror for the given point minus 8 12 let's denote this point by p now the mirror image of point p will lie on the line which is perpendicular to 4x plus 7y plus 13 is equal to 0 and if we denote the mirror image by the point p dash with coordinates alpha beta and the perpendicular distance of this point from the mirror will be the same as the distance of the point p from the mirror the given equation of the line can be written as y is equal to minus 4 upon 7x minus 13 upon 7 which implies that the slope of the line is equal to minus 4 upon 7. Therefore the slope of the line which is perpendicular to this is equal to minus 1 upon minus 4 upon 7 which is equal to 7 upon 4. Therefore the slope of the line p p dash is equal to 7 upon 4. Therefore, the equation of the line p n p dash, where n is the foot of the perpendicular, can be written as y minus 12 divided by x plus 8 is equal to the slope of the line, which has been determined above to be equal to 7 upon 4. Cross multiplying, we get 4y minus 48 is equal to 7x plus 56. And therefore, 7x minus 4y plus 104 is equal to 0. Now, PNP dash, which is the perpendicular and the given line, intersect at the point N. Therefore, the coordinates of point n can be obtained by solving the equation of the perpendicular 7x minus 4y plus 104 equal to 0 and the given line which is 4x plus 7y plus 13 is equal to 0 for x and y. Let's denote these equations by 1 and 2 respectively. Now adding 7 times equation 1 to 4 times equation 2, we get 49 plus 16 times x plus minus 28 plus 28 times y plus 728 plus 52 is equal to 0. The coefficient of y is equal to 0. And therefore, we get 65x plus 780 is equal to 0. Which implies that x is equal to minus 780 upon 65, which simplifies to minus 12. Using this in equation 1, we get 4y is equal to 7x plus 104, which is equal to minus 84 plus 104 which is equal to 20 and therefore y is equal to 5. Therefore the coordinates of n are minus 12, 5. Now recall that n is the midpoint of the line p, p dash because both p and p dash are equidistant from n the coordinates of p are minus 8, 12 and the coordinates of p dash are alpha beta. Therefore, minus 8 plus alpha upon 2 is equal to minus 12. And 12 plus beta upon 2 is equal to 5. The first equation implies that minus 8 plus alpha is equal to minus 24. Which implies that alpha is equal to minus 16. The second equation implies that 12 plus beta is equal to 10 and therefore beta is equal to minus 2. 
therefore the coordinates of p dash the mirror image are minus 16 minus 2 which is the required answer